I want to bring in Len Shapiro. Len is uh, the head of the Bay Area Radio Museum and the Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame. And Len, you have with us uh, the Price Cooper Waterhouse Cushman. certified no. results. No, you don't. No, we have Shapiro Cushman. Shapiro Cushman certified. It's a lesser known, but, <laughs> but just as well regarded organization in the world of security, safety, and overall BS. Anyway, Len and the, this year's crop of the Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame, he's got a couple of Radio Hall of Famers with him. Len, you're All right. Thank you, Stan. All right, this is the 11th class of the Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame, the class of 2016. And to do the introductions today, we have Ben Fong Torres of Radio Waves fame and the member of the Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame class of 2010, Bonnie Simmons. And if they come forward, we'll start the names of the inductees. Ben? Thank you, Len. Bonnie Simmons and I are here to announce the inductions. I'm also here because it is a Pokemon stuff. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> don't mind me. So congratulations, first of all, to all the nominees for the 2016 Bay Area Radio Hall of Fame. That is an achievement in itself. But now we're going to get down to the ones who will be enshrined. In fact, we begin with in the executive category. I was hoping for a lunch ticket in here. So. <laughs> no. It's just somebody's name. Oh, you will find good fortune in the year ahead. Ah, <laughs> oh, how lovely. Dave McKenzie. And uh, in the executive category, the late Mr. McKinsey worked for cable radio for 30 years, rising from copywriter to program director, and, by the way, came up with the idea for the cable car bell ringing contest, which rings on. So, Mr. McKinsey. I am covering the engineer category, and before we go further, the engineers were nominated by the Society of Broadcast Engineers, Chapter 40 in San Francisco. And the engineers are Bob Hammett and Ed Edison, Edward. Uh, consulting engineers in the nationally known and award-winning firm they founded in 1955 called Hammett and Edison. So right. congratulations. congratulations. Next category is specialty. And the inductee in that category this year is Narcy David. Now, we all know Narcy, longtime food and wine editor on KCBS, also appeared on television. Bonnie used to uh, uh, learn a uh, chicken recipe from him and contributed food and wine columns to local newspapers. So congratulations to Narcy David, great guy. And I now have the sports category. Oh, there's a card. And the inductee is Kevin the Rat Radich. And of course, he is of KCBS. He began by winning a contest on KFOG. I think that was when I was at KFOG, and Ben was also doing some work at KFOG at that time. Uh, he won a contest to become a sportscaster. Then he moved on to KNBR and KGO, and is currently afternoon sports anchor at KCBS. Yay. The rat. All right, Len, what do we have next? We have pioneer number one. Okay. Oh, let's, let's see. Oh, we're going to fake it. <coughs> it's just radio. All right. Uh, the first one uh, in the pioneer category. Wilda Wilson Church, also known as WW. Ms. Church provided radio drama programming for KRE in its very earliest wow. days and years, beginning around 1922, went on to produce programming for KGO and then NBC's Pacific Coast Network. The late Ms. Church is inducted into the Hall of Fame. Congratulations. And I have pleasure of announcing pioneer number two. Uh, Dean Maddox was a popular personality and sportscaster in the 1930s into the 40s on many programs and stations, including KYA in 1933, then KFRC and KGO, where he broadcast Sundays from the Cliff House. Mm. Uh, in the category of living legend.
Well, so what? Who would like to receive this award as living legend? You go right ahead and claim it. All right. Uh, the inductee in that category is Hilly Rose, who I remember from KNEW. He was a pioneering talk show host in the 60s on KCBS, where he began as a news reporter, and then on KNEW, 910, and KGO before going national, doing fill-in work for Larry King, Art Bell, and others. So congratulations to Hilly Rose and his family. Oh, my favorite category, program host, uh, number one, Diane Nicolini, a uh, midday announcer on classical KDFC since 1997. She also worked there briefly in 1995, and her other credits include KKHI for 10 years, beginning in 1983, and congratulations. And the other program host <clears throat> being inducted is da -da -da -dum. Hoyt Smith, morning announcer on KDFC since 1999. I think he and Diane worked back to back, morning, midday. Um, Bay Area listeners also know Hoyt from his good work on K101, KNBR, KYUU, KLOK, the guy can't keep a job, and Smooth Jazz KKSF, one jock, many formats. Congratulations to Hoyt. And our last category, but maybe the best, is our news category. And the inductee this year is Wes Scoop Nisker. Uh, he is fondly remembered uh, for his innovative audio collages and news commentaries on KSAN in the late 60s into the 70s, then in the 80s and 90s on KFOG, and I ran into Scoop at the uh, corner grocery store because we live right down the street from each other uh, day before yesterday, and he is in a one-week silent retreat right now. However, since he just got into the silent retreat, he's still getting email for one more day, so he asked me to email him if he should end up getting inducted into the Hall of Fame, and I'm sure Scoop says thank you very much. I just hope his phone is on. Okay, thank you to the 5,100 people who uh, cast ballots, uh, especially for voting your conscience. We appreciate that. All right, KYA was named early on the legendary station for 2016. We had a luncheon celebration and reunion for the station last month, and besides a panel of pioneer top 40 DJs, we enjoyed displays of KYA memorabilia put together by the lovely Cynthia Edwards, whose husband Chris Chrissy Poo was a big part of 1260 KYA. Now, Cynthia has produced a short mix of KYA sights and sounds for you. Chris Edwards show with Clarence Carter. What you want, baby, is what I've got. R E S P E C T. Aretha Franklin at 207. Respect. What you want? 5 p.m. This is Chris Edwards. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back? KYA Radio. The following program is another KYA Music Power presentation. Booker T, the MG's number six from KYA's Double Music 1260 survey at 16 minutes past six in my KYA Idol Temple. Let's play the game right now. I'll take the 17th action line caller. You call me. You know the number. Well, I hope you do. Touchdown time with Tommy Saunders. $276 in our KYA touchdown jackpot. You can score with the right DJ next hour. So stay tuned. Give it a try. Be ready to call on one of the three action lines. Here's the syndicate of sound and little girl. 
basketball with the KYA Radio Wonders. Stop with Camel and hello, hello, a Golden Gate great at 20 after 10 KYA high low time of the Bill Holly Sunday Show. Just going to close up the Chris Edwards mishmash. We'll see you tomorrow on KYA. Good night, Kimasabi. Charge! Yes! I'd like to thank Ben and Bonnie for uh, doing the inductions and thanks Cynthia for the little presentation on KWA. Thanks very much for